gotta check you before you wreck yourself. We're getting ready to go into the Word of God. Before we go into the Word of God, I want to acknowledge and say Happy Father's Day once again to all the fathers. And I give a shout out to Spring Independent School District Trustee Chris Bell. Thank you for being a part of our worship experience. World-renowned gospel artist and entertainer Sean McLemore is in the house. We wish you Happy Father's Day. You, you can't come by without singing something. So that's the message. Grab the mic. And to all my brothers and sisters in this house, I am honored by all that you have said and spoken. But the only superstar in this house is my Lord and Savior. I'm grateful that he has chosen to use me. But it's all about Him. That's right. That's right. The favor of God, which we are experiencing in this house, yeah. I cannot overemphasize how the favor of God on my life has been tremendous this season. The favor of God has now produced what we call lag, a look at God season. Because when you look at God, God has the ability to make turnaround stories. You don't have to stay stuck in any situation. Let me say it again. You don't have to stay stuck in any situation. The favor of God has the power to turn any situation around. The, the Bible says it is good when men come together in unity to such a point it's like precious oil flowing down the beard of Aaron. So there are enough men in here on this morning touching and agreeing in the spirit of unity that I can declare, I can prophetically declare that some man some woman walk in here feeling low but you're going to leave here feeling high. Not, not high off of drugs or alcohol not high off some chemical induced high but you're going to leave here on a spiritual high with your mind made up that I can do all things. I can do all things. I, I've been empowered. I've been inspired and the favor of God is going to turn your life into a look at God's story. If that's you, give God some praise. Oh, God, do me a favor. Let's not be selfish. Look up and down your road and praise God that somebody on your road going to get something today that's going to redirect their life. Give God the free praise that somebody is going to be empowered. Somebody is going to be blessed. And give God the praise for somebody on your road. Jesus! When Drake's head started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. That's our theme song. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Because the power of God has that power to springboard you to a different place in life. I wish I had a witness and hear that God is able. Stand with me if you will. Stand with me if you will. And turn your Bibles to the book of Luke. To the book of Luke chapter 15. We'll be reading from verse 11 when we're jumping around. You've all heard the story before. It's called the parable of the lost son. But you're here today from a different direction, from a 21st century perspective. Luke chapter 15, find your way around to verse number 11. Pray you allow me just to teach this morning. I pray I don't have to even raise my voice just to let the word of God speak for its, itself. Luke chapter 15, verse number 11, it reads like this. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The older one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Verse 13, not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and then swindled or wasted his wealth in wild living. When he came to his senses, in verse 17, when he came to his senses, he said, 
how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him him. Jump down to verse 25. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. Remember, there were two sons. The meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing, so he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he is now back home safe and sound. Verse 28 broke my heart. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. In conclusion, verse 32, but we, this is the father speaking, but we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Take your seats and we're going to have a conversation today about the father of the prodigal son and the lost. We got to give you the praise. Yes, God. We got to give you seats.